so today I'm going to show you guys how to make a pluggable authentication module or PAM for short um, basically what it is is it's a file that you put on your uh, memory units your USB drives or SD cards and when they're plugged in your computer will automatically type in your password for you it's actually really cool um, First what you do is you'll open your terminal and you'll install the uh, packages that are needed. Um, the package that's needed is uh, PAM USB tools and um, a library. I'll have to find that. And then you'll need the library for it. Um, so that'll be what it looks like sudo apt get pam usb dash tools space lib pam dash usb. And then you'll install. And I've already got it set up, as you can see. And I've already got it downloaded as well. So, after that, you, you will uh, use the PAM USB um, like so. It's just PAM. Actually, I think you have. Prefix it with sudo just because. Just sudo PAM USB. Um, do a double dash and then add device and then after that space and then type in whatever the name of your device is mine is SD card but since I've already got it set up on there I'll just do my hard drive um, oh it's not PAM USB, it's PAM USB dash um, conf. The configuration. C O N F. Um, there. And then that'll save like that. You basically. What you do after that is, um, I'm going to run that again because I don't think that took, okay. Now it's taken, um, after that what you need to do is you need to do the same thing, it's pretty similar, but instead of add device, add user. And then after add user, type in whatever the user's name is. I'm just going to use this Ubuntu user. Um, and then you'll select which partition it is. I'm going to use one. And just like that. And Obviously, you'll re replace whatever Ubuntu user is with the account short name. Um, whatever yours is, it'd just be whatever you set up whenever you installed Ubuntu. Um, and then, after you do that, you need to go into your... You need to go into your program files. 
cetera. And then you scroll down and there's a folder called pam.d. You'll open that and you'll edit the common auth file. You'll do this in terminal. This one was already here, but you need to add the one that I have under it. Um, I'll put that in the description so that you don't have to struggle to read it on the screen. And then after that, you'll have to do this in the terminal also. So after you get to this file in your file manager, click Tools, Open Current Folder in Terminal, and um, you'll type nano, or you'll type sudo nano common, and then auth, and then enter, and it'll bring this up, and then you'll just add it in this first line right here the first auth line you'll add it right underneath that and then you'll hit control O it'll ask you what you want to write it to and then you just hit enter and then that's all set up and if you want it to do anything else there's another file down here that you can edit in the terminal um, It's uh, pamusb.com. You have to edit it in the terminal as well. And it's basically just an XML file. And under your user, um, you'll find your user. And I have mine set to lock and unlock when I unplug that. But you can add whatever you want down here, just like this. Um, there's a bunch of sources all over the internet, I'm sure, that will give you code for pluggable authentication modules that you can find and add in. So, good luck.